I'm Dr. Herzog, and I'm here to tell you the five most important questions to ask when selecting your dental implant provider. What happens is you hear for the first time that you need a dental implant. There are many questions and concerns that you have, so this can often lead to being overcharged um, or selecting the wrong person to place your dental implant you never know exactly what to ask. And so I'm gonna to try to bridge that gap for you and teach you some of the key points that you need to ask when interviewing your dental implant provider or dental surgeon. Um, one of the first things that you should ask is the surgeon also placing the crown. So you ask the doctor, do you do the surgery as well as the crown part of it? In my experience, and I'm a board certified um, implantologists. I've seen thousands and thousands of dental implant patients and there is this communication barrier sometimes between the dental surgeon and the dentist who's actually placing the crown. Many times the surgeon may place the implant incorrectly or at an angle where the general dentist cannot restore the tooth or place a nice crown that looks nice and is aesthetic or appealing. So when you have one uh, surgeon doing both of those tasks, then you have a more fluid approach to it and you have a better aesthetic result or outcome. So first question to ask is, are you doing the surgery as well as placing the crown? Some offices will have a surgeon come in just to do the surgery. So that's something that is very important. Question number two is where did the dental surgeon receive their implant training um, or what was their training? So uh, for example, in my case, I did a fellowship and so, and then I was board certified. So that means that I, I had rigorous testing and showed cases and things like that. So with a surgeon who has more experience and a lot more to offer and especially when it comes to their education and training. Um, speaking of experience, that is question number three. So ask the dentist or dental surgeon what is their experience placing implants. And by that, I mean on a day-to-day -day basis. How many implants does that surgeon place? Do they place one a month, one a week? Do they place 10 or 20 a day? Um, that is something that will let you know uh, how how their hands work. Are they a real surgeon? Um, how comfortable they are with the procedure? Is it like doing a filling for a general dentist for them to do an implant? You want someone who has the confidence and the experience to handle various possible complications or um, maybe challenging cases or aesthetic cases which are in the front. So question number three is the experience. Question number four, this is a very important question. Question number four is about you. So each person is different. One person might have diabetes, another person might have osteoporosis. You might be taking a certain medication. Um, maybe you're a smoker. These things can greatly affect the longevity or the success rate of your dental implants. Some surgeons are well-trained to handle these more challenging cases, shall they arrive. Um, other surgeons may refer them out, but it's important for you to bring up your medical conditions to the dental surgeon so that he or she can evaluate you and let you know what uh, your prognosis is, if you're a good candidate for a dental implant or how they can handle your specific situation. So that was question number four, and that's your medical conditions. You wanna address that with your surgeon. And number five, for me, is one of the most important, is access to the doctor once you've already had the surgery. So that means you've had your surgery, you had your implant, everything went great, it was smooth, all your fears went away, but two days later now, a suture is hanging into your mouth and you're worried, is everything going to unravel? Can you send a quick email to your doctor? Can you call them on the phone? Can you send a text message? How available are they to you? How accessible are they to you? And so question number five, really important to me, is um, accessibility of the dental surgeon. So just gonna recap all of that. 
the five most important questions to ask your dental surgeon for implants. Um, the first one is, do they place the implant and the crown? Question number two, what is their training? Where was their training? How long was their training? Question number three, is their experience? How many implants do they place on a day-to-day -day basis? Question number four, your medical conditions. And question number five, access once they've had the procedure done or even received the crown. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope it helps you in finding your dental surgeon.